when an earthquake hits. It's a very strong shaking. Wow. I think we need to get under the desk. <laughs> this is usually the aftermath, above ground. Meanwhile, underground, the Earth's crust is readjusting itself from the main quake, causing seismic shaking again and again and again. Those are called aftershocks, smaller or lower magnitude earthquakes following a larger high magnitude earthquake. Imagine bending a stick surrounded by a thick layer of jelly. When the stick breaks, which represents the Earth's tectonic plates rupturing, it also ruptures parts of the jelly around it, creating smaller cracks around the breaking point. Those smaller cracks are the result of the stress transfer, causing aftershocks of the main shock. Aftershocks usually originate at or near the focus of the main earthquake. Generally, the bigger the main shock, the larger and more frequent the aftershocks. For example, a magnitude 7 earthquake will have, on average, 10 times the number of aftershocks as a magnitude 6 earthquake. Aftershocks can continue for days, months, and even years.